I want to grow. You know what? We're studying trees at school, and we learned there are trees that are more than 2,000 years old. Well, more or less my age. <laughs> Where did I put that marker pen? I'm sure I had it. Daddy, ear! Wow, all this time it was right behind my ear. <laughs> Charlie, your father can be really scatterbrained sometimes. Here! Thanks a lot, Charlie. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> Perfect. Now we have this year's height measurement, Misha. Have I grown a lot? A few inches. This is where you were a year ago, and this is you now. Hooray! And me, and me! Yeah, now it's your turn. Today we'll do your first height mark. There we go. Look, Charlie. Charlie short. That's normal, Charlie. You're still little. You'll soon grow. Okay, I'm gonna make a cake to celebrate how tall you both are. And I'm sure that in no time you'll be as tall as Misha, or taller. Well, there are trees that are as tall as a 20-story building. Wow, that means they must have to be watered a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good morning. We're setting up a neighborhood community garden. Do you have a plant you could spare? Oh, absolutely. There are some small ones over here, but if you water them well, they'll grow in no time. This one would be great. Thanks a lot. Whoa, yikes. It sure is heavy. A crazy looking African tree. Six letters. Hmm. Look, Granddad. Here's a picture of a tree that looks pretty crazy. It's called a baobab. B-A-O-B-A-B. -A -A -B. Right. Thanks, Misha. Charlie? Hmm. Where's Charlie? I don't know. I haven't seen him for a while. I wanted him to taste the cake batter. I'll taste it. No, you won't. Misha, go look for him. <sighs> wow. There's a trail of leaves here. Aha! Uh -huh. How strange. Charlie's trail ends here. Maybe Charlie planted himself? Wow! Wow! Are you thirsty, my little flowers? You happen uh -huh. to be nice and beautiful, so I can send you off by mail to the Prince of Arabia. Oh, but this plant needs a little something. Water, Charlie! Maybe we should give it a little trim, right? Ouch! I got pricked by a thorn. You know what? I'd better go put on some gardening gloves. Thanks for coming, Carol. I need a plant and flower expert to solve this mystery. This is Charlie's leaf for sure. I agree with you. He's planted himself in a pot. But then, where did he go? If you're planted, you can't walk. Misha. If you want to find a plant, you have to think like a plant. And how do plants think? You have to be very still, listening to what the wind tells you. Carol, the wind doesn't talk. Shh. Just listen. What pretty plants those are. They're for the community oh. garden. I'm collecting them from all of the neighbors. The community garden? Carol, you're a genius. <laughs> No. We no. Oh, the plants are really tall. How are we gonna find Charlie? You know the answer to that, Misha. If you wanna find a plant, you have to think like a plant. Carol, do plants shout? No, they talk softly. Then that shout is not from a plant. It's Charlie. Charlie, it's Misha. Are you okay? Don't worry. They just want to suck the pollen from the flowers and then go back home and make honey from it. If you don't bother them, they won't do anything to you. 
I know what we could do. Just follow our voices. growing in this garden. Now I get it. Since earlier I talked about really tall trees, Charlie decided to plant himself in a pot. You wanted to grow like a tree and be really tall, right? The next oh. time you want to be a plant, oh. let me know and I'll oh. come with you. Oh, I need your help. When I took off my gardening gloves, my favorite ring dropped into those bushes, and I can't reach in there. I think Charlie can help you, just like when you got Dad's marker out from under the table. Yes! Thank you so much. You see, being little also has its good points. You can squeeze into all sorts of spaces. Little, hooray, Charlie Little. Come on, let's go home. There's a cake waiting for us. Oh, can I go with you? And me too. Of course. But Charlie gets the first piece of cake because he has to grow. <laughs> <laughs>